What's up guys, War here, and today I'm giving you my five tips to level up your character the fastest at launch of Diablo 4. Let's get right into it. So guys, the first thing that I want to talk about when it comes to power leveling your character, at least in the beginning stages, this is going to help you not only in the beginning, but at the end, and that is collecting the world resources, okay? So the first resources that I want you guys to collect is the ones to upgrade and make our potions and our elixirs. So you're going to be looking for the plants and herbs found throughout Sanctuary. These are used at the Alchemist to upgrade your potions, brew your elixirs, and craft incenses, which are going to help you power up as you continue to level up through the game. Now, as you guys can see on the screen here, there's going to be used for bite berries, blight shades, life's banes, ratamines, or even rare crafting materials such as angel breath and fiend roses. These are really powerful um, elixirs and potions that can help you gain armor, upgrade or give you more experience, give you resistances like poison resist like we used against a Shava in the fight against the world boss during server slam. So make sure you guys collect all of the world resources. Next is finding the other resources like ores and being able to get your iron chunks and stuff from salvaging your gear okay we're gonna have a whole separate video on whether to sell or salvage gear but in this video i'm gonna tell you to salvage your gear which is gonna give you all of these precious resources to upgrade your current gear so as you guys can see when you are sacrificing or salvaging your items you're gonna get iron chunks silver ores and scattered prisms and then once you guys find legendaries as well as unique items these are going to salvage for even more precious materials that you can use to power up your gear now when it comes to looking at these you're going to have iron chunks that really just are common. You're going to find these everywhere. You got silver ore, which are going to be from magic items. And then you have scatter prisms, which you're going to get from rare crafting materials. So make sure you salvage all of this, especially early on. Now, I want to note here that you need to just hold on to this stuff because in the early stages, you're going to just find better and better and better gear. So you don't want to upgrade things, but once you get to a point when you're ready to upgrade, you're going to have more than enough resources to do so. So make sure you salvage everything. Next is don't waste your affixes or legendary powers on your weapons guys do not do this early on okay weapons are the most common item that you're going to find out of all of the gear pieces and as you continue to level you're going to find better and better better weapons so once you find that codex especially early on for example the twisting blades power is what you can find in region two inside of sanctuary so when you're playing a rogue even though you get that power you can use it multiple times so do not waste it on a weapon because you're just going to have the power on there and then you're going to have oh i just found a new weapon that's 400 item power instead of 200 but now i don't have twisting blades orbit so i need to add it to another one just don't waste it if anything put it on the amulet or or something else in the meantime until you get in until you find a weapon that is just so strong it makes perfect sense to put it on there number four guys pump points into your damage skills okay when you're first leveling up early on you want to pump all of your points into your core skill whether it's doing chain lightning for my sorcerer here or doing you know twisting blaze or you're doing upheaval or whirlwind early on in the game pump all of your points to max five inside of your core skill this is where you're going to be doing the majority of your damage as you're leveling up until you get to 30 plus okay so pump all those points into your core skills to maximize your damage in the early stages last but not least my fifth and final tip is unlocking all of the altars of lilith i know we've talked about this during server slam and just on launch but the altars of lilith are really going to help you in the grand scheme of things you're only going to be getting small stat bonuses that really aren't going to contribute too much damage, whether it's like 0.2% or 2% or something like that once you get them all, especially early on in, in you know regions 1 and 2. But I still encourage you to unlock all of these along your playthrough of um, Diablo 4. All the stat bonuses are really, really powerful and help, especially when you're going to respec or make another character inside the game. So just get those. Plus, you're going to get the added skill points for um, Renown, which is going to help you unlock normal skill points so you guys can get more skills so guys those are my five tips to help you power level really really quick inside of diablo 4 right at launch i know some of them seem a little like duh i already know but for some people who don't know or maybe don't really know some of these tips i definitely encourage you to do that it's going to make your playthrough especially in the early game be even easier for you so this is really going to help especially in the later stages so guys if you have enjoyed today's video make sure to drop a like if you have not subscribed 
subscribe. Make sure to do that. We're trying to get to 10,000 subs before the launch of Diablo 4. So I really do appreciate all the love. Comment down below, guys. What do you think? What are some other ideas or some tips that you guys are going to be doing right at launch to help your game through or your playthrough of Diablo 4? And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.